Hi guys and welcome back to UK Fly Fisher. I have a brand new fly tying demonstration for you today. It's a really simple fly, so all you beginners out there can tie along with me. And it's one that's gonna put a lot of fish on the bank for you. I'm gonna be tying it with a new material today. I've just received some new dubbings from Fracuna Dubbing. It looks really good stuff and I can't wait to get my hands onto it. So without any further delay, let's get into the video and show you how I tied a speckled blue flash tadpole. So we're tying the speckled blue flash tadpole. Again, it's a lure, so we're going to be using the short shank size 10 special from Elite Flies. And we're going to be using one of the blue speckled beads from Kindale Flies. These are tungsten, they add weight and they add plenty of movement to the fly. For our tying silk, we'll be using a 140 UTC in black. And we're going to come in just behind the bead, making our way down the entire length of the hook. And then all the way back up to behind the bead. At this point, we're just going to come in and snip away that waist piece. Now for the tail, we'll be using a black marabou. Plenty of movement in marabou, perfect for tadpole patterns. And you just want to get a nice chunk, like so. About an inch and a half worth of fibres from the stem. Snip away all that waste at the front. Pull out any loose bits to reduce bulk. Pinch up and down between your finger and thumb, and then tie it the entire length of the hook and go underneath for your last turn before coming back on top which will secure it and stop it from spinning and then we're going to pinch away so that the tail is two times the length of the hook like so now with all my tails and all my flies i tend to add a bit of flash and this time it's no difference we've got the dark blue holographic tinsel here from kindale flies it's a really really nice flash and we're just going to get two strands of that I don't ever use too much flash because I think it overdoes it. Whereas it will work for stockies, what, what it'll do is it'll switch off quickly once they've wised up. So I like to implement just a tiny bit of flash on each side. Two or three strands is all you need on each side of the fly just to catch the fish's attention. And this is how you create a more consistent fly. Yes, some of the bright flashy flies and the really bright colours will catch you, especially on a, on a day after stocking a lot of fish. But if you want consistency, which is always what I go for, I'd prefer consistent flies in my box, then this is how we create them more consistently. Now for the body, I used to use black seals fur, and you're more than welcome to do that. But I recently swapped to the Vicuna Dubbins Black. Uh, this is alpaca wool, really good, really buggy texture. And uh, I think it's going to be a real winner, to be honest. You're going to see it a lot more in my flies, as I've got plenty of colours that I've just bought. So I'm going to be testing them out over the next couple of weeks. But the black one really, really looks natural and buggy to me. And I think it's going to give us plenty of movement in the water. Really easy material to work with, especially with the UTC 140. For you, those of you who don't know, UTC 140 is pre-waxed. So you don't need to add wax. You can if you want. Especially if you're comfortable using wax. I personally don't really like wax. So I tend to use the 140 because it's all done for me. Don't have to mess about then. Just going to catch that in there. Build up behind the thorax. Need a little bit more there. Catch it in. And really, this fly is quite simple. If I was going to give a beginner a fly to tie, it'd be something like this because it shows you all the key features that you need in a fly to catch trout. It's got the movement in the marabou. It's got a little bit of flash in the tail, as well as the hot head, which is a different color to the body. It's got a really nice and simple marabou and then just a dub body and then a bead. Can't get any more simple than that. And it's a great fly for catching trout. Just gonna come in with three turns behind this bead. Push down and pull. Snip away your excess. And that's a great looking fly on its own. Just see how it's all sitting now. Wet the tail a little bit so you can see how it's gonna fish in the water. You can see there that that's gonna get streamlined, fish really well, give you plenty of movement. If you want now at this point, you can come with your dubbing brush, just pull out a few of these fibers, which is just gonna add to the movement of the fly. Makes it look a little bit more buggy, a little bit more rough and natural, like so. Well, that's it guys. That's a really easy tie for you. That's the speckled blue flash tadpole. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. 
If you have, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll be joining you tomorrow from Williston Trout Fishery with a few tips for fishing in the winter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.